Hello, hello, hello everyone. It's your buddy Jurassic, and I'm hoping that you're having the best day of your entire life today. And today is indeed a great day in the Planet Zoo community because we have finally the last stages right before the DLC 1.8 uh, update, or DLC uh, 1.8, as well as the DLC uh, 1.8 uh, update. Wow, I <laughs> can't talk today. Anyways, moving forward. Uh, yeah, so nonetheless, a very, very uh, sincere and uh, very well-written uh, devlog, uh, I definitely have to say. So without further ado, we're going to dig right into it. So without further ado, uh, here we are with today's devlog, and, uh, or developer journal, journal, as they call it, that was released about 9 a.m. this morning. Uh, so I'm a little late on getting this out, but honestly, that's what happens when you work a full-time job. Uh, so obviously, uh, since it's been out since 9 a.m., I'm pretty sure a lot of people have read this. Uh, so I'm not going to go reading it word for word like I tried to do earlier in a previous video, and I just like, yeah, that's just, it, it was about a 15-20 minute long video, just kind of going over everything. But there, I will point out basically a lot of the highlights. Uh, so first off, uh, you know, they uh, featured this pack to uh, focus on three main areas of Western Europe, which is the historic commercial hub of Amsterdam in the Netherlands, the romantic Venice in Italy, and the picturesque regions of France. Uh, so, and it looks like they, they did mention that they were focusing on water uh, and how it, uh, water kind of has its relationship with uh, life in itself, uh, and along with bridges uh, that can symbolize so much in terms of human relationships on how we build bonds with our neighbors and something that we, they really wanted to highlight and celebrate. So, uh, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of bridges in here. But looking at the first photo here, um, you know, as you can see here, um, there is a lot of going on. Uh, they got the, uh, the new planters there, as I mentioned earlier. Um, couple things that I didn't notice that I kind of noticed in a, in a few other videos and, and maybe I mentioned it or not but uh, we have these banner flags kind of like uh, carnival things one thing that no one else is mentioning here uh, that I've seen so far is this wire look coming out of the red brick building so I it's like I start looking at that a little bit more and I'm wondering what that is exactly or what it's supposed to be at first I thought maybe it was like clothes hangers or something like that but I'm starting to wonder if maybe just maybe they got telephone wires or or uh, power lines um coming from that building um at least I haven't been able to see anything on lines um that says otherwise or says that it's not um so uh I think that may possibly be a power line now why you would have two going to the building i don't know that's kind of unique um so that kind of threw me off a little bit so uh but yeah there's there's two wires right there one right there and another one there coming on each side of this brick building here um so yeah uh, other than that it looks like we kind of already um went through a lot of stuff that we've seen already such as the ground path or the new path texture and uh and so forth along with the banners and the archways and everything like that so we for sure have a lot of scenery pieces to build here um i think these trees over here are actually part of the new one as well they didn't um looking a little closer at them they don't look like um like they would uh be anything else that i recognize off the bat that's currently in game um so uh moving on uh you know, they just basically showed all the same photos as before. Um, you know, again, we have uh, a lot of the uh, food trucks here. Uh, we got uh, the archways, the different roof pieces uh, and trim. Uh, so, and then of course we have that nice uh, river stone, it looks like of some sort. And of course our ferry uh, entrance there, that's gonna be new in game. So that's kind of nice there. Um, moving back into the, the whole, uh, journal or devlog journal, um, they did mention, uh, went over the, uh, Dutch skinny bridge, uh, is, a, uh, on how, you know, it's a great example of engineering that they just had to include. Um, and, uh, you know, basically kind of gave a nice interlude into why they were continuing on with the watering theme and, 
and the, about the architecture and so forth uh, within the uh, entire DLC. A um, couple different things that I mentioned before. Um, we are told that we are going to have over 250 scenery pieces. So it says offers up over 250 scenery pieces. Um, so there may be more than just 250. Um, so that's going to be kind of nice there. And that's what I'm really looking forward to is mostly the scenery pieces and anything. I know, get me wrong. I, I mean, obviously you already, if you've seen my other videos, I've like went nuts over the salamander. Uh, worse than, uh, than, uh, uh, Leaf went all gaga over the fallow deer. So, <laughs> um, other than that, so, I mean, uh, there was a, a did mention about uh, some decals. Uh, they did confirm that here. Um, they did uh, say a set of decal assets with cracks, broken edges, and exposed materials are a key part of the scenery we set. Uh, scenery set we provided, which enabled the application of a narrative for the history of the architecture, because they really wanted to uh, make the architecture pronounced within the DLC. Um, so that's always a great thing there. I think that's going to look really cool. As for some foliage uh, that they mentioned here. Um, they did uh, in, uh, mention the olive tree, the cork oak, grapevines uh, with some iconic flora. Uh, and that's pretty much it that they really put on there. Uh, they did go ahead um, and start touch base, touch base with a lot of the other type of scenery pieces that kind of give it that old century or medieval uh, dark ages um, uh, theme uh, gothic I guess you could go with um, uh, but I, I'm gonna go with the term mid middle ages um, uh, and you know they mentioned that that historical is a very important with the with the Europe uh, and European cultures and so forth so they wanted to include that in this DLC as well so uh, they did a lot of that as well um, which uh, you know we have seen already um, I think uh, I'm looking through here, and, and uh, one of the new things that I see that I didn't really notice here before, but I think this archway might actually be a new piece here. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, I definitely think the archway is a new piece. Uh, we have mentioned about the um, stained glass and everything. Uh, the side of the, the clock tower is a lot uh, larger than what it was before, or uh, more pronounced in the cracks and everything, so I'm pretty sure that there might be uh that might be a type of new wall texture as well of course you know we have all the fairy lights uh christmas lights whatever so uh you know i think it's really cool that we're getting it and everything the downside is is that by the time we get the dlc which is tomorrow um we really don't have much time to decorate our current zoos with these christmas lights and everything um i, I think it would be kind of cool to to somehow have pieces that kind of like come come and go within the game time frame so like for example when the calendar year goes all the way to like november you can set it where like christmas and you can select which um pieces would display on christmas um then it the game just automatically appears and then it disappears of course it's gonna have to have a hitbox or whatever during the time that it's not there you won't really be able to put anything else over it or anything like that but you know, I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, so, yeah. Um, nonetheless, I mean, if you get a chance to read through this all, definitely take the time um, and read it. Um, it. It's a, you know, it's a good read over like a quick little smoke break or if you're in Europe uh, or if you're in England, uh, I guess uh, tea time, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure is well over past tea time right now in Europe. Uh, but yeah, as far as we know, the DLC will uh, drop at about 8 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, so that would be about 7 a.m. my time, um, well, because I'm central. Uh, so with that all being said, I'm really excited to to get this thing moving along. I'm gonna try and get the, uh, some piece uh, uh, like a scenery uh, video and so forth out as soon as I can, which will probably be in the afternoon to be honest. And so a lot of content creators are gonna beat me to it. So, but hey, it is what it is. But anyways, so there you have it. Uh, now, of course, we are already uh, starting to uh, um, speculate on what the next DLC will be. I have seen a few speculations out there and so forth. Um, and if we look on the forum here, um, I will definitely say that one thing you should do if you haven't already is go to, into the forums and go to the animals um, wish list. Uh, there is a meta wish list right here that you can actually go ahead and uh, 
put in your uh, top 25. Uh, you do have to create a, uh, an account with Forum, but hey, uh, with uh, Frontier. But hey, you know it's free anyway, so you get a couple emails from them from time to time. But you also get the most updated, uh, uh, updated uh, uh, information about DLCs and everything. Um, so, and then, like I said, here we go. We got speculation of the next DLC. So if you want DLC talks uh, for future um and and other stuff um you know feel, definitely go through this forum it's really awesome uh, and i'll put a link down below uh where you can find these forums uh if you're not already accustomed to them so uh, without further ado um it is uh about that magical time where we're just gonna go ahead and uh say adieu now of course if you are um the first time viewer and you love these videos make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already because i am still going to continue on with any pz news uh, alongside with other game news such as prehistoric kingdom and also jurassic world evolution 2 speaking of which prehistoric uh, kingdom we had the uh beta 1.2 update came out today which uh they brought had a bunch of new items on there but that's for another video for another time so anyways till next time ladies and gentlemen build play and enjoy this is jay ratzik signing out hey everyone thank you so much for watching if you like this video make sure you smash that like button and put a comment down below if you're new to the channel please subscribe to my weekly release content you can follow me on steam discord twitch twitter and now even facebook until next time build play and enjoy thank you.